Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Training and Reviews. So very recently, I bought a brand new MacBook Pro. It's super fast, and the one thing I want to start doing with it is start playing some games. So I've got Steam downloaded. I'm going to download some awesome games on it. And now to make it look like a game console, I want to use a wireless controller. So today, I bought this brand new wireless controller from Amazon. It's the N30 Pro 2 Bluetooth wireless controller. It's compatible with Mac, amongst others, like Windows, Android, and Switch. And it's from a company called 8-Bit Do. Now this comes in at... 36 pounds on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check it out. But I think the design looks so cool. I'm going to give you an unboxing now and then showcase how to use this and set it up and play some games. So uh, let's get straight into it. Dark. I never seen you clearer than now. Flying high. Floating somewhere up in the clouds. Okay, let's go ahead and open the box. Nice space gray looking design on the box. So this is what it looks like classic Nintendo style design. Let's take a look at that. It's quite compact actually, very lightweight. It's um, the design I just think is awesome. I think it just fits really comfortably in your hand. So you've got two joysticks there. You've got the directional arrows. You have a select and start button, pretty common. Then you have the A, B, X and Y. As you can see, it's got LED indicators on the sides there. Along the top, you have your L1, L2 and R1, R2 buttons there as well. Then you have the USB-C charging port. Gives you 18 hours of battery life, which is really, really good. And it's about one to two hours to fully charge it. Now, the best thing about it is that you don't need to turn it off manually. If you just leave it and it's not paired with your Bluetooth anymore, then it will automatically turn off within a minute. And if it is still paired with your device and you just leave it, then it will automatically turn off in 15 minutes. You have some buttons there along the bottom as well. Now, this is mainly used for the Nintendo Switch but you have the uh, star button there and the home button there as well. You can set them accordingly of what you want them to do with your Nintendo Switch, but the button there in the middle is the Bluetooth pairing button. If you hold that down for a couple of seconds, you can uh, connect this to your Mac or your Windows laptop. So I have a MacBook today and I'm gonna be connecting it through that and using Steam for Mac OS and also playing it with a game on the Mac App Store. So pretty cool. It's got also a user guide in case you get stuck and you wanna get up and running. There's some instructions on how to pair it amongst Switch, Android, Windows, and Mac OS. Then you also have the turbo function details on how to set that. A little bit of information about the battery as well and how you can power save it. The USB-C charging cable. It's a silicone, non-tangle, nice color. Same color as the actual wireless controller as well. I just think it's a very nice USB-C cable to be honest and it's not one of the cheap ones. It's very durable. So that's that. Let's go ahead and play some games. All right, guys, so I'm just playing Asphalt 9, downloaded on the Mac App Store. So let's go ahead and see how the playback is. So far, I've just set up everything. It looks good. The graphics look good. And now let's see the gameplay. That's very smooth so far. Bit of drift in there. Takeouts. Smooth, there was absolutely no lag. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. I'm pretty much killing it, to be honest. Ooh. From a gaming point of view, I think this controller it's just so easy to play. I can't see myself playing it on a keyboard after using this wireless controller as well. So I'm very happy and it's a five star review for me. All right guys, I hope you found that useful. I'm loving this controller. I'm gonna use it for so many games to play on my MacBook Pro. If anyone ever had any doubts, if you can use wireless controllers very easily with Mac OS, then I've just proven that I can set it up and it pairs instantly. I didn't need to fiddle around with any external drivers or configurations and it was just up and running. So you can see the design of it. It's just so cool, it's compact. Get a couple of these, get up to four of these and play multiplayer games on your laptop as well. So 
it's a win-win for me. So if you guys have any other questions about this wireless controller, then do drop a comment below. Otherwise, if you found this useful, then I hope you subscribe because I've got another gaming video coming out very soon. And uh, I hope you like this video as well. And I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.